Okay. Let's start with the Yuzu lawsuit. Okay. Now, I don't want to read through the whole lawsuit. Oh, you we put got, the we got, actual lawsuit in there. I put the actual lawsuit in there. I don't want to read through the whole court document because we do have the whole mm -hmm. court document. Um, so what I did was I asked ChatGPT to summarize it. <gasps> so this is what ChatGPT says. The lawsuit between Nintendo of America and Tropic Haze LLC. That's the name of the, I guess, company. Right. Why are they a company? <laughs> that's the name of the company that, that makes Yuzu. Makes Yuzu. Yuzu, yeah. if you don't know, is a Nintendo Switch emulator. It is the most popular Nintendo Switch emulator. Mm -hmm. It's how you could play Nintendo Switch games on other platforms that you probably shouldn't be playing Nintendo Switch games on. Uh, ChatGPT says the lawsuit between Nintendo of America and Tropic Haze LLC revolves around allegations of trademark infringement, unfair competition, and false designation of origin. Nintendo claims that Tropic Haze's sale of products such as vaping cartridges and e-liquids features... Featuring designs similar to Nintendo's copyrighted characters such as Mario, Luigi, and Toad infringes upon Nintendo's intellectual property rights. Uh, Nintendo argues that Tropic Haze's actions create confusion among consumers and dilute the distinctiveness of Nintendo's trademarks. Obviously, that is not at all what the yeah, lawsuit's I was about. Say. That's just... <laughs> that's just... It, it, it just completely fucked yeah. that up. Uh, I guess it saw Tropic Haze and was like, oh, this sounds uh, like a like a vape thing. Yeah. So it just did that. Anyway, uh That's obviously not what it's about. Right. Uh oh, The Verge put an article about it. Go, go to the Verge article, right. please. Uh if you've ever seen a Steam Deck playing a Legend of Zelda game, chances are you were seeing the Uzu emulator at work. Now Nintendo has sued the developer of Uzu in US federal court with the intent of squashing it for good. In the lawsuit spotted by Steven Totillo, Nintendo alleges that Yuzu violates the anti circumvent anti circumvention and anti trafficking provisions of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, DMCA, as well as accusing the creators of the of copyright infringement. It alleges Yuzu is primarily designed to circumvent several layers of Nintendo Switch encryption so its users can play copyrighted Nintendo games. The company is not only asking for the courts to stop Yuzu in its tracks with a permanent injunction, it also wants to take away its domain names, URLs, chat rooms, and social media presence. Um, hand yuzu.emu.org over to Nintendo. Um, and even seize and destroy its hard drives to wipe out the emulator. Oh, and Nintendo wants a lot of money in damages as well. Are emulators legal? Well, yes and no. Uh, while there's while there's legal precedent that suggests it's okay to reverse engineer a console and develop an emulator that uses none of the company's source code, those cases are roughly a quarter a century of a century old or more. It gets trickier when we're talking about multiple layers of modern encryption and the copyrighted BIOSes that Yuzu and other modern emulators require to run. Okay, let, let's just talk through the rest of yeah. it because we know enough about this. It's yeah. Basically, the, Nintendo's like, hey, uh, uh, cut the shit. We're yeah. shutting you down. Uh, this makes sense because uh, Yuzu is uh, a current generation emulator right it, it, it's emulating a, a current generation console uh which always felt it always feels weird i even yeah. I, last week i tweeted hey are there any developers out there who would actually be comfortable with me showing their game running through yuzu yeah because uh i feel obligated to try yuzu on different devices that i have mm -hmm. and uh i always just use nintendo games because other people show themselves playing indie games like Hollow Knight and Celeste right. and stuff because those run really good on Yuzu through other devices. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sure they would run good on the, uh, what do you call this? Retroid Pocket Pro. Yeah. Pro. Uh, I'm sure a game like Hollow Knight would run good on here through the Yuzu right. emulator. But that feels weird. It feels yeah. re weird to be like, hey, instead of buying Hollow Knight, download it in Yuzu and yeah. play it. That feels weird. Uh, it feels, I'm a lot more comfortable talking about that stuff when it comes to games that are not currently available. Right. Um, so I asked, hey, are there any uh, developers that are comfortable uh, me playing their game on Yuzu? Not a single developer said anything. Yeah. Because they're understandably not comfortable <laughs> right. with that. Yeah. Um, or even having the conversation. Even yeah. having the conversation is scary. Because yeah, because it opens up a huge can of worms. Like, they're going to lose revenue 
with their game being on an emulator. And it's going to, even if they were okay with it, it invokes the wrath of Nintendo, yeah. a major partner for them who could kick them off the platform. Yeah. So Tech Nanner in the chat says maybe homebrew people. I did also say homebrew people. Um, I looked up Yuzu homebrew and there's really nothing. There's yeah. some stuff that is like way like low powered, like stuff there's like i think a game boy advance emulator that runs through yuzu uh -huh. there's what there's a game that looks like a shitty space invaders like it's it's not it's not good yeah it's it's not good um but anyway we've talked about the legality of emulation in the past uh there's a guy moon channel who has great videos on the legality of, of emulation um but what we've concluded pretty much is that the precedent that was set long ago was the Sony lawsuits, the two Sony yeah. lawsuits. There was the one on Bleem, and then there was another one. Yeah. Um, and those pretty much uh, said that the BIOS is able to be copied. That's not copyrightable. Let me just pull up the, the Verge article again, because it said... I ha I, it says, Nintendo doesn't allege that Yuzu includes yeah. any such keys, which is the, the BIOS. Because you do, when you set up Yuzu, you have to provide your own prod keys yeah. or, or whatever. Um, Yuzu takes a bring-your-own BIOS approach, expecting users to either lift their own BIOSes off and keys off a hacked Nintendo Switch using a loophole that Nintendo eliminated in newer models, or more likely, download a pirated one. Mm -hmm. So instead, Nintendo's arguing that Yuzu is knowingly facilitating piracy at a console scale. Uh... So the previous precedents that uh, were set with the PlayStation stuff seems to make people believe that uh, emulators have legal precedent to be around. Like there, there's no real uh, uh, reason why a company would win a lawsuit like this. Right. But I think that over 20 years have gone by, things are a lot different now. And yeah. I think that big corporations have a lot more legal leeway yeah i think they, they have a lot more power to bully their way into getting things done their way yeah i think that back then uh courts had a lot less tech savvy mm -hmm. and I mean, they still don't but they still don't but they have more now yeah and they were a lot more willing to side with the smaller people mm -hmm. uh and now that's not the case now now it's it's i'm terrified what this could do yeah i mean Taking down Yuzu is one thing, but we've also seen Nintendo go after emulator sites, mm. like sites that sell the, that not, not sell, but like offer the ROMs to their history of games and have those get taken down. So this could open up the door for Nintendo to go after even more emulation sites, emulation developers, even, you know, companies like Analog and Hyperkin who make a retro consoles designed to play older games mm -hmm. they could potentially even put them in danger because it's yeah. another way of you know it's another it's another way of you know getting their copyrighted material out there not done by nintendo yeah if they are able to win a case like this it could set a precedent that uh emulators aren't legal or that uh bioses even aren't legal anymore yeah. uh and you could just because analog put out the uh cores for game boy advance and game boy and right. stuff they, they did it under a pseudonym but it could be very easily traced back yeah then. um so they could they could be taken down in that way there's a lot of different ways that nintendo could use to take down all of these other yeah. emerging technologies and all of these other software companies and stuff um one of the scariest things in this lawsuit which is why i brought up the whole lawsuit document is that they're arguing that Yuzu made it so that people can play Tears of the Kingdom early. Mm -hmm. And that made it that made promotion a lot harder and made people not want to look at Twitter. Stealth, our buddy Stealth is mm -hmm. here. They put him in the court document. <laughs> And his tweet says, Tears of the Kingdom leaked, so there are new screenshots floating around. I've waited four plus years for the game. We are so close to release. I'm trying so hard not to see anything. It's a shame this regularly happens for big games. And then here's more tweets that they put wow. in the court document. So I, And then there's Discord uh, stuff. Yeah. 
I looked at that and I was like, oh no, I got to make sure nobody I know is yeah. in the Discord document. But they're not above uh, going after creators either. They went after Point Crow last year. Yeah. Uh, and and that that's not going to... I mean, those are just DMCAs. They're not yeah. going to... They, but they do threaten legal action. Mm-hmm. Um, they could uh, do a lot. And and it's 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 scary. This worries me for more than one reason. The biggest one is that uh, I talk about emulators on the yeah. channel. And I, they could absolutely go after me. Um, but what I'm worried most about is that uh, Nintendo could, you know, take this down. Mm-hmm. Uh, they could win this, and then nothing stopping them from from reaching further. Yeah. Um, I'm worried about the mod scene. I'm worried about mm. uh, the preservation scene for for older stuff that isn't currently available yeah. uh, or isn't easily available for people to play. Uh, I'm worried about all of that stuff because it, it, it's uh, it, you're going to give them too much power and and we're going to have less tools at our disposal to yeah. to enjoy the stuff that we that we have. Yeah. Uh, and it opens the door for other companies to do it as well. Yeah. It allows Sony to go out and do it. It allows Microsoft to go out and do it. Um, we've already seen like Capcom has already come out and said they are very anti-mod already. Yeah. So if Nintendo, if this lawsuit goes Nintendo's way, you know that could lead Capcom to come out and use the legal force to shut down mods of their games. I'm, I think that <clears throat> the mod scene and and in some way emulation, but more so the mod scene needs to have some sort of uh, right to repair tie-in. Mm-hmm. And it's not like right to repair is doing good either. It is and it isn't. It's winning like small cases here and there, but a lot of the bills that are passed are like kind of useless in a way. They're kind of like letting, uh, like the big companies are kind of just letting people have small wins, you yeah. know, but there's no legal ground. There's no legal precedent. Yeah. And uh, without that, the big companies are always going to be able to bully the small people who don't have the money to fight back. Yeah. So that's why I'm terrified about uh, the mod scene. Uh, the emulation community, I'm already scared for. That's yeah. kind of, uh, we're kind of screwed there. But, I mean, it makes sense for something like Yuzu because it's a current generation console that they're emulating. Mm-hmm. But uh, they could reach further and go for 3DS and DS and then yeah. reach even further back. Um, so that is scary. I-, I like having something on my computer that allows me to fuck around with old games mm-hmm. that I own in a way that uh, I couldn't before. Well, even it, games, I own it, so I should be able to mess around with it. Even games that you don't own that are no longer in circulation anymore. And there yeah. are a lot of games like that. There are a lot of games that are you just cannot get. Yeah. Like, period. We used to, The old example used to be GoldenEye, but now I can think of like Eternal Darkness on the GameCube. That was a, that was a highly regarded game back in the day, and you can't get it and play it anywhere yeah right now it was a nintendo first party game it was their first m-rated game and if you want to f- play it you have to track down a gamecube copy that sells for hundreds of dollars yeah i think that archive.org needs to be protected in some mm-hmm. way because uh, with that um there needs to be protections put in place in some some way yeah and i don't i have i'm completely at a loss on how, how yeah. to do that because our our uh system is so complicated yeah um also Cited in the do- court documents is uh, the Yuzu Patreon, which is, I think, pretty damning. Yeah. Uh, er- earlier in the podcast, we said, that's crazy that Yuzu is, has incorporated. A- is incorporated. Like, that's kind of, you know, yeah, seems like you're trying to make a profit. And if they have a pay, and a lot of emulators have a Patreon, and I understand they need to work on the emulator, but you cannot profit off of it because you're damning yourself. Yeah. You're putting your, you you're, you're 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 putting yourself at the in the front end of piracy. Yeah. Uh it's the same thing that got point point crow. He he got uh the reason his thing had no grounds was because he paid somebody to make the mods. And yeah. that means somebody profited off of the the mods. Um so this is why Yuzu is getting sued now because if they didn't have a Patreon, it might have been harder for Nintendo to do this. Yeah. But uh having proof that you make money off of it is not is not a not a good look. Uh, so if you're gonna be working on an emulator in the future, 
you better do it out of the kindness of your heart. Yeah. <laughs> Not for profit. Um, so this is bad news for, for Yuzu, which was the most popular Nintendo Switch emulator and probably the best one to use on mm -hmm. all platforms. But uh, it's still Ryu Jinx. Uh, yeah. I don't know how well that's been going. I haven't really touched it in a while. Uh, Skyline got a cease and desist, which is on Android. And they com they got so scared, they just dropped completely. Yeah. Uh, so the la next one's Ryu Jinx, and I'd like to hear what they, ha what they think. Um, anyway, I'm going to read notifications because I forgot to do it at the top of the show. <laughs> Funyuns are tasty. Thanks for the 12 months. I had a great gym trip today. 838 pounds at the leg press for seven. You're, you're 838 pounds. <laughs> no wonder you like Funyuns so much. Yeah. Lay off the Funyuns. Burl House. Thanks for the 31 months. 31 months. That's a lot of Dunkachinos. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Skeletor, thanks for the five gifted subs. Uh, Dano Mac, thanks for the 14 months. Happy anniversary to us, Bob. Happy anniversary. N64 Boss, thanks for gifting a sub. 13X Gaming, thanks for the sub. And Mackenzie, thanks for the 20 months. Uh, Sir Graphic Tufter says the lawsuit seems to be par partially about illegally obtained cryptographic keys yeah those are the prod keys that we yeah. were talking about earlier um yeah I, I think it's well known and easily argued that most of the people who are using those are not using are not obtaining them through legitimate means mm -hmm. um because it's just so much harder to get them legitimately yeah um also they're arguing that the big argument here is that yuzu allows uh people to play a stolen game yeah uh, and they and they have like examples of recent releases and examples of yuzu updating their software to play the recent releases some of which aren't even available yet right and that's pretty damning because it mm -hmm. means that they obtained it illegally and then edited their software to run it better uh, just got here. Not sure you mentioned that Yuzu Patreon brings in nearly thirty thousand dollars a month. <laughs> I mean, that'll oh, do it. No, that's the big thing. Like, the, anytime revenue is happening, like that's gonna set off Nintendo's lawyers. Yeah, and when you're getting that much money a month, well, th at least they can afford lawyers. Yeah. Hey, maybe they can. Aff maybe they've been smart. Maybe they've been. Maybe that's what the Patreon is for. Yeah, maybe. It's just for like a war chest in case this happens. Honestly, that would be the best case yeah. scenario because we. My big fear is that there's nobody who could fight against the likes of Nintendo. Right. Uh, in favor of right to repair and the mm -hmm. right to modify stuff. Uh, and the best case scenario is that they've been banking all of this money and then they're going to use it for legal fees. Yeah. But that. I. I'll believe that when I see it. I don't think that there's yeah. any possibility that they were that uh, uh, they were thinking that hard about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Wood says thirty thousand. Who wants to make an emulator with me? <laughs> oh God. Anyway, I guess that's I guess that's all we need to talk about with the yeah uh, uh, Yuzu lawsuit. Uh, there's a very long court document. I guess 41 pages, but still mm -hmm. 41 pages is a, a lot, a lot for legal speak. Mm -hmm. uh, but they show discord messages and stuff. I, I linked it in the, in the Twitch chat. Yeah. Um, I'll link it again and I'll put it in the YouTube chat. too. Uh, it's just good to skim through to, to look at all. Oh, I can't link it in the, in the YouTube chat. Sorry. <laughs> it's good to skim through so you can see all the, all the cute little pictures in the discord mm -hmm. messages and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm scared. Uh, do any any legal experts in the chat yeah. want to want to, or or politicians in the chat yeah. that want to uh, <laughs> uh, 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 tell us what we can do for the right to repair? Yeah, let I'd us know. I'd love to know. Uh, is Bob in the document? No. Well, I hope not. Uh, I I only looked at the pictures. <laughs> yeah. I think you shared the link with the GPT. And not the document itself. You shared the link to the GPT, the chat GPT, to, to the chat GPT 
I just shared for, the link. Okay. I shared the link. You shared you, something. You people are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Use the user page where I got the number for those interested in this course. Oh yeah, it's it's literally their page. Yeah, and like there, uh, uh, I I don't know. There, there's there's like uh, a lot of emulators do this. They have patreons, and sometimes they have features that they release. Yeah. early and you have to subscribe to the patreon in order to use it uh and uh, i'm scared for those people 